Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video today. Today we're going to be doing a finishing tutorial uh, for people who don't know how to finish just the FIFA 18. It's a little bit easier in this game to finish uh, in the back of the net, but I'm going to show you guys some specific ways to score. So we're going to have uh, separate videos for each type of finishing so I can go more in depth with you know when you want to do these types of finishes and what types of areas you want to do uh, these types of shots and Right now, we're going to do the driven finesse shot. So the way you're going to do a driven finesse, uh, finesse shot is going to be RB or R1 if you're on the PlayStation. And then you're going to hold B and then tap B. Or if you're on the PlayStation, you're going to hold circle and then you're going to press circle. So I'm going to show you guys some examples of how to do uh, the finesse driven shot. So you guys are going to notice some uh, instances that I actually do the driven finesse shot. So the times that I actually end up doing the driven finesse shots are when, you know, I'm anywhere in the middle of the pitch inside the 18 yard box when i'm at a medium distance away from the keeper i used to do tutorials i think it was two years ago where i always used to say to to the people who play the game that you always have to be a medium distance away from the keeper in this game it's kind of the same way so again anywhere inside the eight yard box and just a little bit more narrow you want to do this shot so you can see here with benzema i take that one touch and i do a german finesse shot the, way, the reason why it works so well is because there's two different dives that a keeper usually does when you shoot it from a medium range. They dive outwards with their hands and their leg goes that way, right? So you, oh, you have all the space to work with with the, with the low driven finesse shot, which is, again, RB or R1 if you're on the PlayStation. You hold B and then you tap B. So as you do a driven shot, the way you do a driven shot is you hold B and then tap B. The way that you would do it... Uh, for the driven finesse shots, you have to hold RB as if you're going to finesse the ball normally, and then you hold B, tap B. So it ends up being a driven finesse shot rather than a regular driven shot. And again, this is uh, probably the most effective way to score in this game if you're 1v1 with the keeper. It actually works sometimes when you're on the sides trying to shoot across, but when you're on the sides trying to shoot across, you're probably going to want to go for a driven shot more than you're going to want to go for the driven finesse shot. But this is definitely... Uh, by far my favorite way to score in the game because it's the most consistent because when you give it to a player that actually has very good finishing stats and shooting stats in a general sense they usually end up finishing like you can see here with Higuain it was just a very well placed shot and it has power and it's low right so again the way Neuer dived is he dived with his hand out like this and then his leg went in the opposite direction this, so this is definitely uh, one of the most consistent ways to score Lukaku is going to do the same thing here they actually rotate their bodies to actually score these opportunities which is why it makes them better so for the next example here we actually have the sharp touch finesse shot now the sharp touch finesse shot is very similar to the regular driven finesse shot but the only difference is that you're just taking that one small touch and then you're just going to finesse the ball regularly now the reason why you want to finesse the ball regularly again is that when the goalkeeper dives towards you they dive with their legs facing down and their arms facing up or they dive in a certain way where there's always space in the middle. So you always want to get that perfect power that always hits just under their arms, right? Um, the only thing with the regular finesse shots that I don't like is that they're not as consistent with, as the low driven finesse shots. Because in a lot of these instances, I should have just low driven finesse it because low driven finesse shots are more consistent than the regular uh, finesse shots. So again, this is a different way of scoring with finesse shots. So those are the effective ways to use the finesse shot trait in a general sense where you're using it in a driven finesse shot or the regular finesse shot. I highly recommend that if you get yourself into a position where you can regularly finesse shot it, you should driven finesse shot it. Now remember that you have to be inside of the 18 yard box. You don't want to do it from outside the 18 yard box because if you're outside the 18 yard box, then you definitely should try out the finesse shots because the long range finesse shots with players like Robin cutting inside and shooting with his left foot is very effective in this game. But if if you're inside the 18 yard box, I would rather you guys try to use the driven finesse shot rather than a regular one because a regular one seems a little more inconsistent. The sensitivity of a regular finesse shot kind of is a little bit inconsistent. Like you want to hit in the middle, but sometimes you over hit it and you hit the crossbar. If you do a driven finesse shot, you can always control your shot because all you have to do is hold RB hold B and then tap B, right? So you can always control your actual shot because you know the longer you hold B, the more power the shot will actually have. It'll be less accurate, but you don't have to hold it for as long. If you hold uh, B for a regular finesse shot, right? Uh, you will sometimes hit the bar, but if you hold it for just as long with a driven finesse shot, 
you'll hit the target more than you'll miss. So I'll de I definitely recommend using the German finesse shot more than the regular finesse shot, but both ways are definitely more effective. You got to really feel out the game and see which one you think would be the more effective against the goalkeeper that you're facing. Because there are moments that you should use a finesse shot, but again, in the moments that I showed you guys, I could have used a driven finesse shot and I still would have scored, except for this first opera, except for the first opportunity uh, with Ronaldo where I did that sharp touch and then just did a regular finesse shot, just to, just to chip it right right under his uh right under his arm so uh those are the best ways to score with the finesse shot i hope you guys enjoyed this video today if you guys did please drop a thumbs up on it and i'll see you guys later Peace.